Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and I'm working in product management here at Cognite. During this next segment, I'll be guiding you through how to realize smarter data-driven asset health programs. Tracking asset health, pinpointing root causes and real-time troubleshooting is still a challenge for most of our domain experts. If you caught the session last week, you'll recognize these challenges. Insights are just being locked in vendor-specific applications. They just become siloed and fragmented as you have more and more of these tools. Secondly, it's becoming more and more challenging to make decisions due to complexity and diversity of data. As you need to rely on more data, the complexity just increases. And lastly, the decision-making process can be so slow and cumbersome, especially when involving more departments. So within the asset health space, we focus on solving these same challenges. For example, several solutions and insights can result in an outdated maintenance strategy, which can lead to poor investments and resource inefficiencies, hence affecting the asset performance and increasing costs. Also, an unclear overview of your asset health can again lead to suboptimal performance and strategy. You get in a space where you are just mostly being reactive instead of being on top of the things and be able to actually act proactively. And last, lastly, but uh, no quick access to trusted data and insights leads to inefficient root cause analysis and the lost learning opportunities between incidents and assets. So it's so crucial to actually get the learning back so you can improve the overall asset performance. But as we are moving into an ecosystem of solutions that help our customers evaluate the asset performance of their equipment and systems, we are focusing more and more on the reliability link to the overall organization. By feeding the asset health into details into operations and maintenance teams, which actually means improving the quality of decisions with intelligent suggestions, for example, enabling uh, generative AI, hence providing better automated tools, uh, driving a more collaborative analysis by bringing people together across several departments to solve problems on top of their data. So we have seen so many organizations that uh, it's just coming, it's just uh, cumbersome to enable collaboration, which is usually happening so ad hoc or spread across emails, phone calls, slides, and so on. So now we can actually capture and enable that collaboration in one single digital space. And lastly, enabling our experts to no code calculation. So anyone can actually analyze any type of data. Coding skills are not required anymore. Enabling our experts to actually bring and connect their models so they can scale them on top of Cognate Data Fusion. And also we are enabling our experts to have real-time condition monitoring with analytics, which definitely leads to downtime reduction and risk mitigation. So as we are focusing now on our asset health portfolio today, let, let me give you a glimpse at how we can actually enable these three main topics, which we just mentioned. So we have been notified that there is an issue in our unit with one of the heat exchangers. So as you can see, my colleague is already troubleshooting the issue and he invited me to the canvas. So uh, he's already running this investigation. Now he needs my help in troubleshooting and identifying what is the root cause. So I can simply access the canvas from the email invitation. As my colleague has already started the analysis and gathered some relevant data, first I can do a quick exploration on the insights that we have so far and bring in my knowledge. I see that he has already created a digital twin or industrial knowledge graph, if you will, that contains interactive piping and instrumentation diagrams, sensor data, equipment metadata, work orders, and 3D cut models. As I familiarize myself, uh, I can check the notes that uh, he left so I can better understand the, the problem. And now I'm just basically taking the role of the process engineer. So it's time to actually put this data to use and continue the investigation of the performance issue on the heat exchanger. So my data visualization and exploration starts with the engineering drawing, which is key to understand what other data is relevant to the, this particular equipment. Uh, each highlighted area on the PNID is clickable and can be used to fetch additional data to the canvas. Here we are really just following links in the industrial knowledge graph. Besides the 
2D representation, I can understand even better what is nearby the heat exchanger by checking the physical location in this 3D viewer, which is fully interactive. We may want to go further upstream or downstream than a single diagram can show. We can take advantage of the contextual links to diagrams and find the related uh, files. I can quickly visualize current live values for sensors of interest and even signal with traffic lights based on some ro basic rules. For example, if the value is above a certain point to be marked with red, and as in this case, and below a certain point to be marked with green. Now, in order to draw some conclusions and take some actions, I actually need a few more pieces of data to complete the analysis. So I can either bring this data by just manual search, or I just use the Copilot Assistant, which can really speed up my process. Doing so, I like to see the latest work orders. I like to get more information about the heat exchanger and see perhaps some relevant images from a recent operator round or robot inspection to get an up-to-date real-world view of the equipment. So we can easily add this uh, visual data alongside the rest. As everything else looks all right, the investigation boils down to this temperature sensor upstream, which may be of interest to our investigation. So now I'm asking my colleague if he has uh, perhaps more details about the investigation or I just have to simply run some calculations. Now we need to go deeper into analyzing the sensor data of this heat exchanger, so I open this time series in a chart. Here I can quickly analyze time series data, do profiling and data quality assessment, and create calculated time series on the fly. We first have a look at the data quality of the time series selected for this period we are interested in. I see that there are no gaps, so it means that data is coming in regularly. To figure it out what is the issue, we'll need more data actually. So we are interested in the temperature in the cooling fluid going into the heat exchanger and the temperature when it exits, as well as how much cooling fluid it's being used. So I'm finding the temperature downstream and the flow transmitter. And this should give us the metrics that we need. So in the no-code calculation editor, we have access to a vast library of industrial relevant functions, as well as more general data quality and statistical functions that can be applied. Given this time series that we have just selected, we are able to calculate the cooling effect of the heat exchanger with some pretty simple high school physics. So the heat capacity water times the flow rate in kilogram per second times the temperature difference will give us the answer. Once we have set up this calculation graph, a new time series will appear. So this time series can be easily saved to Cognate Data Fusion and even reused in other application or dashboards. Here you can see the new red time series, which is now shown in the chart. We can also set up monitoring on this data so you are notified if unexpected events occur. So we can manage the alerts in the same UI and also we can set up a monitoring job. So for instance, if the flow rate goes below a certain threshold, we can get an alert. As you can see, we are looking at all sorts of data from several different sources in a single view and I can easily use a variety of data science functions or even my own models without writing a single line of code. There has never been anything like this available to industrial professionals. Would you like to learn more? Please check out our resources on the website, such as customer stories, industrial canvas demos and documentation. And if you haven't already, I'll encourage you to sign up for Cognite Hub and reach out to us with any questions, feedback, and of course, if you'd like to schedule a personalized deep dive session. Thank you very much for watching us and wishing you a great day. Thank you.